Okay, here we're going to look specifically at exhaust fans. So while this is a picture here of a greenhouse with exhaust fans, it can also be applied to smaller grow areas or even grow tents. Uh, this is kind of the extreme case here with greenhouses, and this is what exhaust fans on the large scale will look like. Now the key part is with an exhaust fan, it's a step one, it's a very important step, is to calculate the cubic air volume of the grow space. The goal is to then size the fan so that the entire volume of air can be removed in under five minutes. Some growers even prefer to vent the room about every one minute, especially if you're not using carbon dioxide enrichment. But that key first step is to measure the grow space because you want to make sure uh, that you're matching the size of your ventilation fan, or your exhaust fan in this case, to that volume. You want it too big, you don't want it too small, you want it to match the size of your facility. Uh, the next comes the fan placement. So placement of the fan is important. With locations generally favoring mid to upper room height to help ensure the warmest air is removed. So you can see the setup I have here, very towards the top. There's a carbon filter also attached at the very top. So that's ensuring that the warmest air is being removed and exhausted out. Then running ducting to help ensure the system is light proof. So we can see here, out the grow tents is all sealed up and there's a slight bend in this here to prevent uh, any sort of light infiltration from coming in or any light leaks here from the actual um, fan connection itself that's also very important to keep in mind lastly if you are using co2 you don't want to waste your co2 by exhausting it out of the facility a timer or other interrupt system may be used if co2 enrichment is being implemented uh, also being used to reduce CO2 waste. So you don't want to have um, your CO2 running the same time you're exhausting your fan, especially if you've oversized your fan, you could be taking in and exhausting out this carbon dioxide and essentially wasting that that you're putting the time and energy into enriching your growth space with.